Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? And welcome back to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. Today, guys, we are playing the Fafnir 5B because I wanted to go back to a classic. I wanted to thump away my double heavy gausses today, and we're gonna deal a lot of damage with that. Now, why is the make interesting? Why is the make good? Because it's a hundred tonner, it can load two heavy gauss rifles without a problem. We even have five medium lasers for some support. And if you were wondering why I'm not taking the other Fafnir, I think it's the five that has the Gauss quirk. This one has five energy hard points plus the ECM, which means that uh, we can actually deal a little bit more damage with our laser weapons while we are also shooting our big double heavy gauss rifles. Sadly, we have to run a standard engine for that, so we are down to a 300 rated engine, which means that we are only running 48.6 kph, but that's good. That's enough. We can defend ourselves in most situations. You will especially see that in the first game, even if we are getting pushed and if we have some friends around, this mech is kind of unstoppable. It deals a lot of pinpoint damage. We have an alpha strike of 75 and it's just a lot of fun to play. Now, let's take a look at the skill build before we get into the game. And as you can see, I was going for magazine capacity, all the laser nodes and then a good chunk of cooldown. So this is kind of the, the thing that I wanted to go. Four. By the way, if you think um, that you can manage your heat a bit better, then take these cool, uh, sorry, these heat generators out here and take a bit more cooldown down here. This way, you can shoot your Gauss rifle more often. But I would say in most scenarios, I'm usually kind of on the edge in terms of ammunition. So it's um. I don't know, it's a, it's a back and forth. It's a drawback that you can take in terms of heat management, but you get the benefit of cooldown. So it's kind of a side grade instead of an upgrade. I was going for most solve or almost all survivability that I could get here. All the skeletal density nodes, all the armor hardening nodes, because we are a big mech and we are actually susceptible of getting swarmed. So sometimes you really got to defend yourself and you cannot run away. So sometimes you just got to push through and having more hit points is really good for that. We are not taking any operations. We don't need it. I was going for the enhanced ECM nodes though, because it makes sense. You don't want to get targeted at medium medium range so take that you can only be targeted at short range that's great and we have double artillery plus a double cool shot that keeps our mech cold and that's the build everybody i wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now and if you have that then don't forget to leave a rating subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and now it's time to hit the battlefield all right first game of the day let's play we are playing the frozen city classic and we are playing assault we actually have the good spawn or let's say the better spawn than the enemies because they have the pretty bad bravo 3 bravo 4 spawn which means we should really get there at the same time i'm really hoping that i'm not getting backstabbed by anybody coming through the tunnel so let's see where this is going at the very least we have some ecm helping us out but my friends are just moving to the front line like berserkers i mean that's okay that's cool so let's try to defend ourselves i think i want to kind of cut across here through the dropship because getting down there I'm, I'm too slow it's not uh oh it's not happening oh okay so there is a stealthy guy let's see if he's gonna peek again charging it up now no pre-charging is a thing that you should learn and uh, try to figure out where the enemies are try to anticipate their movement yeah i failed <laughs> i failed man i really want to get through here let's go ahead and drop artillery there maybe they can see it uh, so that they are kind of backing up from this and then we're gonna try to fit through here. I'm also completely blocked right now uh, Hello, can I not fit through here as a okay? I cannot fit through here as a as a Fafni. I'm completely stuck by the way. All right now. I have to go There we go take that cicada nice clean shot to the center torso Got him again All right, here we go. Let's get the big guys Okay here we go, and uh, another time. They, they don't see me, guys. Alright. LB axes on the Banshee. I'm just hoping that I'm kind of sturdy enough to defend myself here. Got him. Uh, I think, you know what? I'm gonna stay here. Alright. Completely invisible. Backstrike. Still completely invisible. Defensive artillery strike. Sorry! Mm, that seems bad, man. I'm so sorry, man. <laughs> okay. Let's give me that. Give me that other side. Uh, that other side torso. Mediums. Okay. Gotta turn around now. And I'm probably getting completely, yeah, completely surrounded by enemies. Where is the cicada coming from? It's here, right? There it is. Oh, I missed that shot. Not good. Medium lasers. Got him. Turning around again. Where did the, the other guy go? Oh my god. Completely pinned. Ah oh man, I just need a better shot against him. Let's go with that. There's a the missile ball. There's the Thanatos. And that is my not side torso. Can we go for it? 
Come on, dude. Hit me on the side, please. Oh, he hit the front. Man, that was a Gauss duel if I've ever seen one. <laughs> 900 damage. I'm sorry for the team kill. He must have been so damaged already. I was just grazing him with the lasers. But, hey, let's see how this unfolds, guys. We kind of try to defend ourselves as much as possible. And I learned something today. Either I got super stuck on something, or we are just too fat to fit through that gap in the dropship. So, there is that. Man, I was so crazy. I was really with the back against the wall. And I was trying to defend myself as much as possible. And the funny fact is here that we did. And we did a crazy amount of damage. And we got some kills even. So, let's go. Come on, guys. Go in. We are 8 and 5. And we have a murder ball coming up. And these guys are so damaged. There's a stealth Thanatos somewhere. Unless you have killed him already. Man, that guy got me. And, uh, yeah, let's see. Let's uh, try to get into another perspective here. To somebody who is actually in the game still. Lots of Artemis Lurms here, getting that Mad Dog, who is also Lurming. Is there an event going on? Bunch of Lurmers here, I don't know. Um, not that I want to be um, kind of condescendent. I'm just saying, a lot of people are just farming events with Lurms, and that's just a fact. Without any kind of bias or so. Now, uh, 10 and 5, let's see where the last enemies are. Ready? There's something going on there. Was he AFK? Cyclops slave near? Yeah, I don't know, I mean... Uh, he has a ping, a but yeah, there's a there's the raven with the low signal. There they are, and they are actually active. So medium lasers coming in from the Phoenix Hawk. Yeah, that's the side also destroyed, and that guy is running Rax and LB Axis. Interesting combination you got there, buddy. Rax and LB Axis. Usually the Slavnir is you know it's known for his big uh, double, triple, quad LB10 build. But um, mixing it up with some rocks, I mean, why not? There we go, Raven down. Sleipnir is still standing strong. Now look at him. Is he still taking kills here? He is not. No. <laughs> Alrighty, good round. Again, the defense there wasn't too bad. And um, I think we dealt a crazy amount of damage here. That was nearly a thousand, which is actually quite good. Cheetahs? Yeah, no, dude. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. We dealt 11 damage and got the kill. I'm sorry for the team kill. I really am, honestly. But hey, we got 3 killing blows. We got 5 kill most damage dealt. 930 done. 520 taken. And we got a 6 components destroyed. That was the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, second game of the day. We are playing uh, another Fafnir here in front of us. Alright, that's it. Uh, we are playing the Termaline Desert. We are playing Skirmish. And I have the feeling that we have to go to the Delta 6 area as, as quickly as possible. Because that here is a very slow mech and that here is a lot of open space in that area here so we're gonna go up here down here down here and then we hope that we have a regroup with the team and we are not dying in the process these enemies are in the Fox 7 area so they can shoot through here so I don't know how to do it right now if you're gonna take the low ground or not but I think again it's better to maybe take some hits and t uh, get straight towards the center directly instead of walking around it because these enemies uh, they will just be here and then I'm down there. And then they will see a single out Fafnir. And that is not a good idea. So let's uh, regroup and, uh, you know, just t take the hits while we are going. The interesting part begins when we have reached this point here. And then I try to cut across left side. Not right, left side. It's gonna be hard, I know. But we will see what we can do. Also, I mean, there is a light mech. And if that light mech is getting hit by our good old double heavy gals, then it might pop. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. This is my ramp. This is the enemy's side. Oh god, I'm afraid. I'm so afraid, guys. How afraid can a single man be? So far, I don't see anybody on the high ground there, so we are fine. Again, we're taking the shortcut. And we are... Oh, there we go. And we miss. And we double miss, but that's okay. So we didn't even give away our position. <laughs> that's alright. Maybe it's better that way. But hey, here we go. We have regrouped. That's great. We have some friendlies which are kind of faster than us, and there's a fight unfolding. Ooh, did we take the window? It's risky. But I want to take it. I'll do it. Echo 6, here we go. There was a light mech coming in here. That's a thing that I saw. Okay, let's go. That is a side attack, which did not register. Oh, it was the arm, okay. Got it. Got that guy. That's good. I like the popping sound of light mechs in the morning. And that is a... Holy crap, that's a whole lot of enemies. Yeah, you didn't realize that we were here, right? 
<laughs> okay, so I'm hoping that my friends in our backwards area are gonna help us out by just covering us. They didn't cover us. They are not covering us altogether. All right. So we gotta do something weird now. We gotta turn around here and try to find who's trying to kill us. They're probably, probably still. Oh, there we go. Take that, mister. Was that the guy earlier? Take it and like it. Dropping artillery? No, we have no artillery ready. Oh, that was a miss. Uh, also, <laughs> let's go. Hello. You're dead. Five and three. Looking good. I'm gonna help out here. Oh my god. Mm, I mean, we hit him. Lots of enemies in Delta 5, guys. Delta 5 is hard as hell. Sh 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 Corbin. Sh sh yourself. <laughs> All right, let's go. I just wanted to give some friendly information to some friendly friends. So let me do that and don't shush me. All right, six and four. We are still looking pretty strong, though, I gotta say. And uh, yeah, we have some pop darts coming down from the left side. I see you, buddy. I hit you, buddy. Uh, let's push that. Sadly, I was missing that. All right, got to turn around here now. That's a lot. That's a hell of a lot of enemies. And I'm not sure if I can actually contest those. Uh, I have artillery. That's a hit. I'm also getting peppered a lot. I found everybody, literally. That's a kill. No, it's not a kill. Okay. Yeah, they wanted me. I took the wrong turn. I was like, yeah, guys, let's go. They are enemies. And, you know, there was a fight on top. And um, everybody was going for the target. That they have seen, that they have a lock on, uh, instead of, you know, anticipating where the people actually would go. But it's okay. I mean, fighting three enemies at the same time, you cannot do it in a Fafnir. Uh, but anyway, 11, no, sorry, 10 and 5. We still have that commando around, right? Yep, there it is. <laughs> Let's keep going. And then there was also an AFK, they said. So, let's see how the game unfolds. We still have to catch that commando and then have to go for that AFK, wherever that guy might be. Uh, let me take a look. Maybe we have somebody on pursuit here. There was somebody running around, right? Ah, uh, nice try. Was trying to hide, but there is no hiding. <laughs> Alrighty. So, where? Where is the last dude? We were saying uh, something about Golf 7, which is kind of here in this area. But... I wonder if it's a trap, maybe, maybe it is. I mean, seeding false information is one of the best parts about um, warfare in general. So, is he in Gulf 7 or is he not? He might be around, it might be, it might have been a bait. But after, I would say after the commando, I don't think that I saw any other kind of stealthy mechs or of a light mech that was trying to go for some any sneaky stuff. So, somebody said Gulf 7. Oh, oh, yeah, they're shooting. And they're getting shot in return. That's a Gauss dude. So he's not quite AFK. He is there. But he's dead. Alrighty, guys. Good fight here. Good fight. Dudes, I love that early kill against. I think it was a fire starter there. That was so good. Just in his back, popping him like that. That was really good. So we got two killing blows. We got five assists. We got two kill most damage dealt. 612 done. 619 taken with five components destroyed. And that was your daily dose for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.